Hi, I'm Noreen O'Connor, C&D Education Ambassador, and today I'd like to show you how I've created this design using the new Yours Loves Natalia plate. I've started with a shellac manicure that already has one coat of black pool applied. I'm now applying a second coat of black pool and curing in my lamp. I've taken some Lucente Rainbow Chrome Powder and using my Lucente G1 brush, I'm now packing this into the bird design that I wish to pick up. I'm slowly pressing and patting the powder directly into the engraving. Using a G1 brush like this helps to minimise any waste. Next I'm taking my scraper card and I'm scraping down gently once. Then I'm going to flip the card the opposite way and I'm going to scrape it back up towards the top of the plate. And now I'm going to scrape from side to side, just making sure that I've got as much powder into the engraving as possible. Next using a clean halo stamper, I'm now going to roll it over the design gently. It's really important that you're gentle with the rolling, otherwise you're going to squish your design. As you can see it's picked up beautifully. You can also see it's picked up some of the other design that we don't want. So I'm now taking a plastic backed pad, soaked with some scrub fresh, and I'm just going to clean up the parts of the design that I've transferred that I don't want. I'm going to flip the stamper over and get rid of the design on the other side and once I've finished I'm going to allow my stamper to completely dry before I transfer this image to the nail. Using the halo stamper allows me to pick which part of the design I want to transfer and where. I'm trying out some different angles and when happy I'm pressing it into the nail and rolling it from side to side. This is a total beautiful look on its own and you can choose to leave it here by just top coating but I'm coming in with a layer of Lucente Layer It. You can see the Layer It looks quite grainy or bumpy. You must allow it to settle for 10 seconds before you cure it on the number 3 setting in your C&D lamp. Once it's cured, I'm going to take the tiniest, tiniest amount of rainbow holographic powder and I'm going to create a halo effect around the edge of the nail. You can see how little I've picked up and really too much has transferred to the nail but this isn't a problem, we can fix it later. You really only need the tiniest little dot of powder on your nail for this effect. I'm going to really scrub it in all around the edges And once I'm happy with the basic shape of it, I'm now going to remove some of that excess powder from before. So I've got a Lucente G1 brush again, and I've dampened it with a little bit of IPA. The bird design is completely protected now as we've sealed it in with Lucente Layer It. So you can mess around with this powder as much or as little as you want until you are completely happy with the design. It's important that you leave the alcohol completely evaporate before you come in with your top coat. If you've taken too much away, you can always just grab your applicator and without applying any more powder to it, just use what is on the tip of the applicator and you can come back in and add a little bit more. We're gonna finish off this design with C&D Original Top Coat. I've chosen the original as we're working with powders on the nail and this will give the best result. I'm using the C&D 5 point polish method to ensure a thin and even application. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.